Hey everybody, in our last video, we gave, gave you a question to answer. Uh, which vehicle would you like us to talk about next? Would you like us to talk about the 1966 Caddy, the 1930 Model AA flatbed, or what was the third? We had a third one, Project E, that's right. So you guys picked the Caddy, and I'm excited to dive into this project with you guys. I uh, hope you like it. I hope you get uh, you feel like you get all the all the details of what the car means to me, what the car means to the team at Legacy EV, and all the cool stuff the car's been involved with. To start off, if we're going to talk about the 1966 Cadillac, I have to say it is probably my favorite car on the planet. I love Cadillacs, specifically the 66. I feel like it's a perfect blend between what, what Caddy was doing in, in the early 60s and what they started doing in the late 60s and early 70s. So personally, it is one of my favorite body styles of that vehicle. I have owned a lot of Cadillacs over the years. My first vehicle was a 1978 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. The vehicle that we're talking about today, uh, the 1966 Cadillac, I purchased that vehicle in 2016. Kept it as a gas-powered vehicle for quite a few years until just recently. Uh, got all kinds of memories in that car. I drove that car one time with a good friend of mine from Arizona all the way to Washington. Three-day road trip up Highway 1 in California uh, through Oregon into Washington. Car drove great. It was gas-powered at the time. Uh, I just had the interior done, so the interior was great. Uh, the car itself needed a lot of work, so when I say I drove it there, it's not like I had this frame-off restoration, LS swapped, well-running resto mod. I had basically a stock 1966 Cadillac with the stock motor in it and a bag of tools in the trunk, and off we went. It was one of those like just bucket list trips for, for me and a buddy. After... Uh, Starting Legacy EV, I built a couple vehicles as proofs of concept. Stuff was very new. People hadn't seen much for electric vehicle, you know, resto mods, repowers like this. And, and so we had built a couple, sold them at Barrett Jackson. We're working with a few customers on their first builds, supporting them. And it was time for us to do our next um, prototype or proof of concept. So we started working on that Cadillac in March of 2021, had it finished in time for SEMA. So we were pushing pretty hard from March to November to get this car built, get it to SEMA. EVOD was doing the wheels. We knew the schedule was tight. Um, I, had, I had a couple conversations with them there where they said, we don't like taking these wheels right up against SEMA. Told ourselves we'd never do it again, especially in a COVID season. So. Um, again, big shout out to EVOD. They did everything they could, but their shop uh, had COVID run through the shop like the week or two weeks before SEMA. And the protocol at, at the time uh, was that you, you couldn't have people in the shop. It, it, it really hindered their ability to get these wheels done. So um, as much as it pained me to do it, we went to SEMA in 2021 we had multiple vehicles on display and while this freshly painted gorgeous 1966 caddy was supposed to be debuted at sema 2021 it sat in our enclosed trailer in the parking lot uh, with the stock metal wheels sitting on it because our our wheels from evod weren't ready yet and i'm going to say it one more time evod has been great to work with this is not a knock on their abilities to get these wheels done or anything it's just what happened a lot of us dealt with it in 2020 and 2021 getting stuff and getting it in time so before we get into the specs of the Cadillac uh, specifically the power plant and some of the the cool things going on with this vehicle I want to dive into the cosmetics one of my favorite additions to this vehicle is the white pearl steering wheel built by Pearlcraft in Australia uh, they're a great company. I've worked with them a few times and I think this steering wheel is like just icing on the cake with this vehicle. Another one of my favorite things on this vehicle is when you pop the hood. 
Some electric vehicles were trying to showcase battery boxes, were trying to showcase motors, trying to showcase different different items that you probably haven't seen before and you get to see them on this car. This Cadillac, our goal was to just make it disappear. So when you pop the hood, you get art instead of mechanical components. So this is something we were really excited about when we got it finished. This vehicle has an airlift air management system, classic car stereo equipment, heated seats. One of the items that everybody notices is the wheels. These wheels, big shout out to Evod for helping us with these wheels. Um, I sent them a picture of a 15 inch stock Cadillac hubcap and said, I love these cars. I love them traditional, the way they came right off of the assembly line, but I want this one to pop. Can we take this hubcap and stretch it out to 20 inches and build a one of a kind custom billet wheel? And of course we can, because Evod can. So uh, they helped us, they, they made the wheels and we threw a, a low profile white wall tire on it and I, I think they make the car. Uh, let's talk more about the specifications of what is going on with this 1966 Cadillac EV repower that we did. Um, what you have here is a net gain motor. Uh, it's actually got three motors that are in tandem that sit basically in the trans tunnel. They come up forward of the firewall just a little bit. So there are three individual motors tied in tandem to the drive line to the rear end. Um, between the motors and the drive line, we do have a torque trans gear reduction box. So the motors are putting out 400 horsepower and about a thousand foot pounds of torque. The uh, rear end is a stock rear end. The gear reduction boxes that torque trans offers right now, we have a uh, basically a two to one and a three to one. So depending on the gearing and wheel and tire size and what you got going on with your build, um, you might want the two to one, you might want the three to one. So um, this vehicle right now is set up with the two to one and we're going to do an upgrade on the vehicle because we do believe it would be much, well, we don't believe, we know, it would be uh, better geared with the three to one in it. So. Um, Looking forward to making that upgrade one of these days soon. Uh, the battery pack in the... I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please comment below. Uh, excited about sharing our next build with you and, and seeing what you guys think of that. See you later.